Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we are taking a look at QQQ SPY as for the indices of NASDAQ and SP 500, and then we'll also take a look at some of the tech stocks. Well, we'll first take a look at tech stocks and then we'll jump into indices, guys. So we'll take a look at Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta, and Netflix. And then I'll take you over QQ and SPY as well, so that you have understanding of how these big caps in their price action, what they are doing, and how this will affect QQ and SPY. All right. With that, guys, please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. All right, so Microsoft, guys, let's start off with that. So we had this huge gap left to the upside on Microsoft, so it seems like it has filled that gap. So there is no gaps left to the upside. Now, remember, though, well, we had one of the plays on the short side that we were in. We made 50% profit on that. If you want to know more about it, Check my previous video out. And then thanks to NVIDIA, things gapped up, right? But let's talk about all of that. And let me actually first take it to the weekly interval. So on weekly interval, nothing concerning. Well, Microsoft is still technically bullish uh, fully. You know, it is still going to be bullish even if it comes down to this level of 377 and 75 cents. That is still a pullback and a support, previous support, right? So yeah. It's still going to be bullish, but until then, you ask junior trader, can there be a cool off coming until then? So let's talk about that. So guys, um, as I said, it's, it will still be bullish if it stays above the level of 375 and 384, but um, is that cool off that potentially we are looking at because the gap is filled to the upside, the gap that it did with Nvidia, you know, it left another gap here, but is it going to fill the gap to the downside now? Well, we are just at the precipitous of that, right? So this is the level you are watching, $408. If it breaks it, it's going to the downside, okay? And you can, either first, this trend line, you can track this trend line to the downside game. And if it breaks, starts breaking below that, then another, we can then start talking about some more downside. But so far, I would say $403 and maybe below to this trend line, the black one. But Let's take a look at hourly interval and let's see if the confirmations are building for that. Guys, we are right at that place. We're right particularly at that point where if we break this level of 200 hours moving average, it's becoming a game to the downside and $403, you can check that off and then maybe around this trend line as I just said. So yeah, so let's see if this thing starts to cool off now, but you know, this again, like thanks to Nvidia, everything has been going up. Microsoft is still a bullish play if it gets above 20 hours moving average now with the support of 50 hours moving average as well. Still become intraday at least bullish play it will become and then you can try to target the next level. All right. But yeah, so that's with Microsoft. You ask my opinion. I think cool off is coming. I think the whole market is cool off is coming at least some now. Uh, it's just been too extended. Apple. So Apple, I have an update for you guys on this. So if you know, or if you remember that yeah, last time, um, I updated my short position on this a little bit, even though this NVIDIA thing started to push it higher, but I still said that I'm still short biased on it. I'm not going to cover my position or book the stop loss on it. I just extended my stop loss to the upside. And you can see how well we still maintained that area and we are selling off again. So yeah, I'm still in this play. And again, um, we are yeah we are still in this play guys um so on daily interval again i really wanted to see this trend line break again and it going below that um and then this is the profit area because my position has been open from around this area 181 and 29 so it's really really like opened my position and then went against me but i'm i mean as i say i'm still in the position it's just that um yeah i'm just you know, holding it. So it's in the waiting period right now for the position to work out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Above this 185, it can start to become a long play, but right now directions are not confirming for me on Apple to the upside. Apple will go more down in my opinion, okay? That's with Apple. Let's take a look at Google. So Google, guys, we are still in that play on the short side. I gave this green line as the potentially a long zone. Um, we are not, we are not in there. We haven't triggered that. So we are still in our short play. Again, we did come down lower to maybe 33% of our position. Thanks to Nvidia, it started to go up. Um, let's see if we again come back into it. But yeah, Google is still a short play for me. Amazon. Amazon, I gave a long play on it. So we are into that long play guys. So awesome. Um, uh, so if I go to the hourly interval, yep. 
that was the long play guys right around above this box you can see that and we are enjoying the ride and as i just said take some partial profits out at these levels so you should take those out amazon is bullish so yeah it's not bearish amazon is not bearish i have been saying that it's bullish pullbacks are being bought back up on it so we are already in the play i don't need to provide a new play on that we are 75 percent profitable already the positions take partial profits in the journey there guys meta so uh, daily interval let's talk up there first um meta has been bullish guys we were in the play but that play was only for from 454 and 485 we made good money 100 percent money on that right now i'm not in any play on meta this thing technically on daily interval is bullish this thing is still up well technically a buy if it gets close to 20 days moving average but that's where i would take any play on it right now no um until then it can cool off as well but let's take a look at hourly interval if the cool off may come so technicals are not confirming that you, you can trade intraday at least if not swing it's a long play if it gets above 486 it's a long play again back to 494 but if it keeps rejecting that it's a short play to the at least level of 474 where it is right now if it keeps selling off yeah it is a downside play to 474 in my opinion so but yeah this is how you're watching the at least the intraday levels right these are the areas that's the top area 485 and again guys these tools that marks automatic all the levels indicators the day trading levels plus all these things here are my details of the memberships links are in the description below of this video if you are interested to have access to my tools all right here we go meta netflix let's take a look at that netflix guys uh let's go to the daily interval first um i want to go to the weekly as well on this um yeah this thing technically has this level is not showing up right now because i haven't adjusted my indicator but you can move the indicator and those levels will show up as well I can really quickly show you how you can do it on my indicator if you haven't if you don't know what to do uh, just move this line back there it will start comparing previous price action so you got the next levels to the upside um, Netflix is technically still bullish on weekly let's take a look at daily again if there are any near-term plays building so the last time I talked about where I have also marked this red line is guys where we had 20 days moving average and you can see that uh, that's where we found the support, right? So that's what I was talking about. Now, we have been going up, but is it going to come lower? Let's talk about that. Like if it's going to go up from here or pull back or something, right? So on hourly interval, if it want to stay long, guys, it has to hold this level. 581. It has to go up. Otherwise, it's an intraday short play below 50 hours moving average to the level of 572. And if it finds support there, then it will again become a long play from there, Netflix. So I don't expect, again, technically it's still in an uptrend. And if it, so we also have this trend line on Netflix, guys, at this point. Even if it holds this trend line, this can still be traded to the upside. Okay, so you get my point, right? If it holds this trend line, goes up, it's still a continuation to the upside. What I'm not liking is that this lower high. Uh, which is making me believe that this these are elements might bring it down at least to the level of 572 and then we'll see the next price action or if it doesn't come down there guys then watch this trend line and if this gives it a push it's still an upside play you have to see the price action at these levels guys for example this wick forming at this significant level uh, which shows the buyers and then it goes up but then you can see overhead resistance of 20 hours moving average just rejecting it right so Cool, good stuff. Let's go to QQ and SPY. Let's talk about those. So here with QQQ, guys, um, what are we seeing with QQQ? So we now I showed you all the stocks, right? You have the idea of what the overall those big cap stocks are doing. This is all with NVIDIA, guys, this thing. I did a video on NVIDIA as well, guys. If you're interested, check that out on my channel. Here's the details. Check these videos out, guys. You don't want to miss out on these. NVIDIA especially, guys. You got to check it out, guys. Don't miss it. There's a lot of stuff coming up tomorrow. And also, Tesla, make or break moment tomorrow, guys. You should check this video out. Cool. Now, let me go back there. And so, guys, QQQ... <sighs> Look, I, I think before any more upside would come, it has a room to cool off, at least down to somewhere 430. And let me go to the hourly interval and talk about that. 
Yes, technically it is still bullish, okay? But in my opinion, it has a room to cool off to, well, at least, for, okay, that's why we look at multi-level time frame. So 434 or 432, sorry, 432 is the area. Until then, QQQ is still bullish. In my opinion, it may not, you know, but I, when I say it may not, I mean, I think there's just more cool off coming, in my opinion. We have a failure of break of the all time highs. You can see the wick forming, right? Yeah, guys, in my opinion, it's going to go much lower. Your first play is to the level, at least this 200 hours moving average. It's not going to happen in one candle. It's going to take a sweet time, but it's just, in my opinion, it's a downside play. If anything has to change on it, QQQ needs to get up a 436 and 20 hours moving average tomorrow. If Monday, things needs to change. Otherwise, it's going to continue to fall. Uh, to the downside and then for the swing short plays below only this 200 hours moving average price action hasn't built or confirmed for that so that's why i don't want to talk about it right now um yeah i'm also seeing another important levels 429 but so far i mean i feel that tomorrow we'll see a sell-off on qq um and yeah for for tomorrow at least spy spy being very strong yeah it's been very strong guys very bullish um yeah, it's been very bullish, guys. Very bullish. I'm just seeing a channel or something here. Twenty. Just use the 20 days moving average for that, guys. Now, how should I trade it? Well, we have spy has a lot of gaps with the downside, guys. Not just one, right? There's I can show you many which are way below where the even price is right now. Let me actually show you. When people say, hey, the gaps, right? Gaps will fill. Look at the gap there. Look at the gap there. Massive gaps, guys. $420 range gap. So, and prices are 500 right now. 500 plus, right? So, very bullish sentiment in the market, guys. And again, thanks to NVIDIA, you know, there's another tiny gap. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a very tiny gap here. Um, but so, guys, what... I feel on the daily interval that yes, at least a cool off is coming. Not bearish. Spy will not become swing bearish. Don't get me wrong. But at least this pullback is coming. A cool off is coming. However you want to say it. If I take you to the hourly interval. Let's talk about that over there. Yeah, wow. Look at this 200 moving average holding, giving it that support, right? Okay, so the cool off you asked you in your Twitter until where? Well, the first level is five hundred and three dollars from where it is right now. It's yeah, guys. Tomorrow cool off is coming in my opinion, and then um, potentially the level of eventually. Well, oh look, if if spy holds five hundred and three dollars level, this is a buying zone again. If the level holds, if it starts to break, it's not going to become bearish. I would stay. I would sorry. I would say avoid trading in this range below five hundred and three to five hundred dollars. Let it either go below $500 level and then we will start talking the downside. But otherwise, 503, where the price is right now, from there, it is very likely it will, it will cool off to 503. And from there, if it's hold support, it still can go up. Otherwise, if it breaks below 503, I would suggest break, wait until $500. And if it breaks that, then you can see continuation to the downside on it. All right. Well, you got the plays. Well, guys, if you that's all for this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. My tools that I use in my videos are in the description below. Here are the details again if you're interested. And with that, I'll see my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.